Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today, let's talk. Acknowledge those feelings and thoughts. Don't shut them out. That's so, so important. How often, and to be very, very honest with you, we read about it all the time, that young men and men just in general are not forthcoming with how they're feeling about what's going on, if something's stressing them, if something's worrying them, if something's playing on their mind. The last couple of weeks I've been really concentrating on mental health on my channel because it is so, so important and I know that it is getting much more of an openly uh, spoke about topic, but there is still a lot that every single one of us can do and that means that we all have our own responsibility to be able to openly talk about how we feel when the time is required. So whenever you're feeling down, whenever you're feeling as though that life is just getting a little bit too much for you to bear, or if you feel that you've just had a day from absolute hell and you cannot manage it going on, but yet you're not a person who speaks openly about things. You're perhaps a person who dwells on thoughts. Perhaps something horrific has absolutely happened to you and you're dealing with it in your, in, in your background, but yet you're still smiling and you're still making out that everything's fine. We all do that to an extent, but there's only so long you can do that for, and then eventually it starts to take a toll. I've been there, so I can ab absolutely tell you that, do you know what? You just need to acknowledge. And when we acknowledge, we start to really be able to breathe and almost like that somebody's lifted the house off of us. This topic has not just necessarily come from me going through this, because actually it's not based on me. I'm actually watching one of my loved ones at the moment, um, somebody very dear to me, going through uh, a bit of a dark time in regards to mental health and well-being. And all of these things have been something which I've been thinking over and if I've been waking up in the middle of the night and I've been jotting them down, which I'd love to cover and I'd love to talk about on my channel. How often do we actually acknowledge how we're feeling? So I know very often sometimes you may say, or say, for example, you may meet somebody and somebody says to you, how are you feeling? And you say, I'm fine, I'm fine. But are you really fine? Just because somebody asks you, how are you today? It doesn't mean to say that you can't actually say, do you know what, today's not so much of a great day for me. I'm okay, and I'm positive, because that's the line I always use, but today's not a great day for me. Because as soon as you acknowledge actually what you're going through in that moment, on that day, you can actually start to think, do you know what, I've actually just said that I'm not okay, I'm trying my best, I'm here in the right now, and I've just expressed that actually something's not quite right. You never know. You may open up to having a whole conversation with that person, which lifts you, which almost feels like that you can breathe. You can emotionally relax. You can feel as though that actually the whole world is not ready to kind of swallow you up. You can feel these emotions. You can acknowledge these thoughts and you can get through it. But to be able to get through it, you must almost acknowledge them. I like to use this analogy. Well, when something is playing on my mind, or if something is stressing me out, or perhaps I'm having a bit of a time where I'm obsessing over something, or I'm getting some intrusive thoughts and worries, or their, or their, or fears are sort of stressing me out. I've got nieces and nephews, which I love and adore, and sometimes I worry about them with different things and that going on, and my brothers, and my mum, and my dad, and my nan, who I no longer have, um, which going through a loss of somebody so, so dear and special to you is hard. And I have to admit, since all of that's happened with my nan and my nan's, I was going to say, left me. And that's how it feels in my heart. Um, but you can you can well imagine the thoughts and things which goes on in my head. And, um, and yeah, do you know what? Sometimes I always think that until you answer the door to those thoughts banging on that hypothetical door in your head, they just keep going around. They just keep going around. And sometimes they manifest into something really quite stressful, really quite dark, really quite intrusive, to the point where you're thinking of all of these things and they just keep going and going in your head. But yet actually sometimes if you take a moment, go for a short walk, and as I, I'm a very avid believer of this, if you go for a short walk, whatever weather it is, of course not absolutely torrential rain, but whatever weather it is, whether it's a dark grey sky, whether it's a bright blue sky with the sun shining through, 
don't take a phone with you. you. Go for a walk, just breathe and very much sort of open yourself up to what's going on around you. So if it's feel the breeze, look at things going on around you, just be as open as you can. And do you know what? I often, I oft, when I'm when I'm out walking, I often pray. And the Lord above helps me get through my thoughts, helps me give, he gives me clarity and it clears my mind. Okay. But what helps with that as well is being out, having that sort of fresh air, that sort of stimulation away from my own normal environment, no mobile phone with me at all. But it's that acknowledging, that taking the time to breathe and actually think, do you know what? Yes, this is going on and this is making me feel this way. I'm going to give myself some time out. I'm not going to be so hard on myself. Or actually, I'm going to have a conversation with that person because it's stressing me out so much. I'm worrying about it so much. They may well be able to give me what I need to be able to calm this down, put this to bed in my mind. And actually, then I can get on with enjoying my life. Thoughts and feelings. We're never going to be able to get rid of them entirely. And to be honest with you, why would you want to? Number one, it stimulates us in this life. A little bit of worry, a little bit of fear. It helps us be our very best characters we can be in this life. It motivates us to be the best person and to achieve strong things in this life. It pushes us on our way. But yet, there's a slippery slope. If too much of it happens, you can find yourself in a real sort of festering, frustrating, sort of sort of sapping all the mental energy out of you in this real dark place where you start to feel down, you start to feel low, you don't seem to see the happiness in any situation. All because we're not necessarily acknowledging thoughts, feelings, what's going on. Do you know, if I've ever had anything in my life where something's really knocked me down, I always concentrate on how I can get back up. A lot of my family say to me about, especially with the health problems and things which I've gone through, how honestly, Bradley, can you be so positive? Or I've heard my parents say about how positive he is when he speaks to um, when my mum or my dad speaks to other family members and things. And do you know what? I pride myself on being able to be positive because do you know what? Truth be told, shh, inside, I'm not always that positive. It's thoughts and feelings. But yet, do you know what I try to do on a daily basis is if I wake up in the morning and I feel quite anxious or I feel quite stressed or I'm worried about something or I'm dark, I don't let it show, but yet I make sure I acknowledge it. So don't mix the two up there. Not letting it show and not acknowledging is two very completely different things. Not letting it show actually may mean that I'm dealing with it amazingly up here. It may not, but for me, I try not to let it show and I try to sometimes Again, in my prayers, sometimes in the mornings, I say to myself, do you know what? This is getting to me today. This is stressing me out today. I'm finding it really tough today without Nan. Or I'm feeling a bit low today. Or I'm feeling a bit stressed. I'm feeling a bit worried. I talk it out in my sort of own space with the Lord above. Or how can I put it across to somebody who doesn't, um, who isn't like that? Um, Sometimes standing in front of the mirror, okay, standing in front of the mirror and sort of just taking a few deep breaths and, and just sort of saying to yourself, do you know what, it's okay to feel what you're feeling. Those thoughts going in your head, for example, let's say they're intrusive, saying to yourself, do you know what, it's not you. That's the stress, that's the worry, which is putting those thoughts in front of your mindset right now, okay. Or if it's somebody who's quite anxious, perhaps you've got a job interview coming up, or perhaps you've got some relationship issues or financial sort of worries and one thing or another. Sometimes putting it down on paper, acknowledging it. Sometimes standing again in front of the mirror, taking a deep breath and saying, do you know what? This is going on today. I'm going to get there. Even if you think actually in the back of your mind, how on earth am I ever going to get there? Do you know what? Starting to acknowledge it by saying, because you know what? This is a really tough situation. I'm going to take it as one step as it comes. Today I'm going to do this part of it, tomorrow I may do the next part, but if not, it's okay, because it's still going to be there, and I'm still acknowledging it, and I'm still going to resolve this, and I'm going to get through, okay? All on the back of that, just by acknowledging, you're starting to deal with things, okay? Shutting things out only manifests things, it only, to be quite honest with you, makes things worse, to the point where one day you have to acknowledge it, and it's this huge, great big problem. 
when actually, if we'd have acknowledged it, perhaps a few days ago, or a few weeks ago, or when something didn't get quite as bad, then actually, it would be a little bit more easier on ourselves, or it would be a little bit more stress-free to be able to resolve it, or to be able to take a methodical approach to be able to find a resolution. It would be a little bit more simpler. However, have faith in yourself that whatever you are going through right now will pass. Okay, and here is my top tips which I've shared with people in my family, my loved ones and friends to get them through. Okay, number one, if you know that somebody's going through something and you are at the same time, sometimes helping somebody with a problem can actually relieve you of your own and give you some headspace. Okay, number two, keep talking, keep talking, keep having those conversations. It could be loved ones, it could be friends, it could be picking up the phone with somebody. Okay, number three acknowledging the good things in our lives, the blessings in our lives, because it actually makes us concentrate on actually, do you know what? Things are pretty good. That may be going on, but things are pretty good. Okay, pretty good. In fact, they're damn right good. There's only one of you, and you're amazing. Don't forget that. And lastly, what you find yourself in at the moment, whether it be whatever thoughts, feelings going on in your head, this is a storm. You may well find yourself in the eye of the storm, the most horrific storm you've ever seen in your life. Those days where you open the curtains and you think, crikey, can't I just close the curtains back up? No, you can't. No, you can't. That's what you need to say to yourself. No, you can't shut those curtains. Yes, you have to acknowledge it. You're in the eye of the storm and it will pass. And a brighter time will follow. A brighter day will follow. A happier time will follow. I hope that helps. So I want to leave you with those last notes that actually acknowledge those thoughts and feelings because they can just set you free to a place where you can deal with things a lot more easier. You can start to feel better about yourself. You can smile again. Don't shut them out. Thank you very much for being here, my friends, my subscribers, and everybody who's uh, taken the time to watch this. God bless you. Take great care. And think to yourself, this is just a storm right now. You're going to get through this. Or if that's not the right context for you and you've got a lot on your mind, shut whatever you're watching this on, whether it be a laptop or a phone or whatever. Take a moment. Breathe. Even if you're in a room by yourself, breathe. Acknowledge what's going on in your head. Write it down. Keep a journal. Keep a diary. Write it down. Acknowledge it, my friend, because as soon as you start to acknowledge it, you're dealing with it. And that's the main thing that you've started that ball rolling. You don't necessarily have to finish it because it's not easy, but starting it is half the battle. God bless. Take great care. And I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.